pack. It's a wee bit dodgy. It's a bit dodgy, right? Just a wee tad spicy. Was that better? Yeah, slightly a bit. Touch the door. <laughs> Alrighty folks, I am halfway up Skiddo and myself and Greg, we are doing an attempt on the Bob Graham round. <sighs> to be fair, I think Killian John A's record is safe. What is it? Is it sub 12 hours? <laughs> Aye, 12 hours 50 or 11 hours 50. Uh, we are attempting to do it over three days, which I think is quite ambitious. I'm blown out my arse already. <laughs> so yes, this is current scenes on Skiddo. Two hours into the Bob Graham round. Righty, oh, we're not far from the summit of Skiddo. Front and rear fog lights are on. Right, 2 hours 20 on the clock, that skiddo in the bag. So we're going to push on now towards Blencathra. A couple of wee ups and downs in between. Right, too much gab in there, if you missed the turn off. Not long after you head off the summit of skiddo, you need to swing a, a right and head east. So we've uh, just corrected that. It's always the same, talking too much and you're not checking the map. Nice and peaty. So. I'll put hairs on your chest. Right, so we are just taking a, a little breather here. That's our next target up here, Great Calva. And then after Great Calva, we'll head to Blencathra. But first, we're going to have a nice scone that I bought earlier. Look at that bad boy there. Fresh out the oven this morning. Mmm. <laughs> Right, actually, you don't want to cross this bridge. You actually want to go up this here, I believe. So, past the sheepfold, and <whistles> up there. The scene where Greg is going to cross this river. Right, this is us heading up Mungersdale Common. It's a bit steep there now, but this will level off in about 200 metres time. There's Skiddo there, just trying to clear up a little bit. And for us, when Kafra Summit will be over here somewhere in the cloud. But we're making good progress. That's uh, five hours and 45 minutes on the clock. Alrighty folks, that there just ahead is Sharp Edge. You've got a tarn just on the other side of that as well. Rain's beginning to start again. We've just got this climb up here into the mist. Alright, that's us on the summit. Superb boss views. Right, I believe we head down there. I'm a little bit apprehensive about this bit. It's got a bit of a reputation. Yeah, everything is just a little bit greasy with the mist. So I'm just really approaching this with kid gloves. Oh, I didn't mind getting on the arse. 
and using old ass crampons if needs be. Yeah, I'm really just going to take my time on this. Sweltering in the jacket, nose is running, and this is slippy. It's just no grip at all. You would not catch me running down this. Bob Graham, you're a nutter. <laughs> this is Greg's takeover. Greg's Usually Kev. <laughs> Thanks for taking my pack, guys. Right? This is much it's a, easier without the big camping pack. It's a wee bit dodgy. It's a bit dodgy, like. Just a wee tad spicy. Does make a difference about the pack, by the way. Good type 2 fun yet again. <laughs> Hand hold. Whoa, there we go. Right, folks, a wee update. We're actually we we're coming down the wrong line. We were too far across, and we were just getting sucked in to a gully. When you saw the footage back there, so we've had to come across. The path was more to the east. I had to think about that, and. We're now on a more defined path and it seems to be better. So touch wood, we are out the worst of this. Because that was sketchy, I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't absolutely shiting it, <laughs> but I wasn't enjoying it either. So, uh, fingers crossed. But it's really killed our time. There's no danger we're getting to Helvellyn tonight. That is a fantasy. There's no chance. Uh, it's back at six now. That's took a long time to get down off that. So I don't know where we're going to end up tonight. Cheers mate, cheers back up. Check how my hands by the way with that. Scrambling in that hill. Oh, I'm not going to lie, folks, that was a tough day. And uh, the rain is sweeping in tomorrow, apparently. Maybe during the night, in fact. We'll just have to wait and see. We're still going to go for it. We're going to give it a stab, but I can't see us finishing this Bob Graham round in three days. It's just... We're falling short today, distance-wise. So we're up against it tomorrow in heavy rain. Just can't see it, but... You know what? We'll get a go. We'll have a very good stab at it. Uh, so tomorrow is High Street, I think we go up and over, and then um, Hill Velen, I think. I'll need to check the map, but uh, yeah, we'll get a go and see what happens. But we're in a campsite at the moment. I didn't think the first night in the, the Scarp 1 would be in a campsite, but hey-ho, it's a bit noisy, so folk, I hope folk shut up soon, because it's the back of 10 now. But that's the joys of campsites, I guess. Anyways, I'll catch you in the morning. Cheers. Good morning campers, it's uh, it's 20 to 7, I'm not long up, don't think Greg's surfaced yet, but uh, I'm going to get some scran on the go. Well, first impressions of the Scarp 1 are good. Seriously spacious, by the way. Look at this. It's almost like a compact two-man tent. Room for cooking in the vestibule, that's absolutely fine. Plenty of room for your feet. One minor downside is prob but it's probably the way I've pitched it, is the inner is touching the fly sheet. Uh, so I'll need to look into that. But otherwise, yeah, it's good. I thought I'd done full circle because I had a 
Hilleberg Acto was my first ever backpacking tent. And I kept that for about 10 wild camps and then uh, I sold that for the Trail Star. And I've only just sold the Trail Star for this. So I've kind of got a full circle with a, a single hoop tent. And I was worried, it's like, oh well, I should have just kept the Acto, but this is far more spacious than the Acto. Right, that's us back on the go. Just have to retrace our steps back to the, the village that we had our pint in last night and then pick up the route from there. So, uh, aye, it's been a couple of little ninja showers, but nothing major to report so far, weather wise. We'll see if it stays dry or not, though. Right, this is us on the way to our first target, which is Cloth Head, which is somewhere up there in the cloud. Right, this is where the serious grunt begins. Right up um, Cloth Head, I think it's called. Living the dream. That's cloth head done. Now is it Great Dodd we're going to next? Yep. Yep, Great Dodd. Views as always fantastic. Super boss. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty folks, that is Great Dodd in the bag. Three hours, 20 minutes on the clock since leaving the campsite. And God, we've only done eight and a half kilometres. <laughs> Just not covering a lot of distance today. Been overtaken by loads of runners out, out in shorts and t-shirt. <laughs> Those guys are nutters. Right to folks, uh, 11 kilometres on the clock with 4 hours 10 and we're at Stye Barrow Dodd now. You just see in the cloud over here, we'll have Blencathra and Skiddaw. And then if I pan around, you can just make out Helvellyn, just there. There we go, oat cake, oat clock. Mm. What have you got, mate? Flatbreads, mate. Peanut butter, cheese, and stradaccia chilli sauce. And they were melted, but now they're solid. Alright, though. This is us just nearing the summit of Ray's. Right, we're just coming off Ray's now and we did have a wee chat back down at Sticks when we had our lunch. I kind of feel if we head towards Helvellyn, it's almost like a point of no return because we know we're not going to do the Bob Graham but we're getting further and further away from Keswick where we're parked so we're going to shorten the route and do a smaller loop and we're going to head down Sticks. Uh, shortly and then it'd be nice to get my first English wild camping as well so uh, I'll explain it better when I check the map again we know roughly where we're going Mm. 
Right, we are stopping for coffee and cake and then uh, we're going to continue on a bit further and we're going for somewhere called Walla Crag and uh, we're going to have a wee high camp there well I say high camp, I think it's about 300 metres or something so I uh, will see how it goes that's the rain back on, I think we might go inside this is becoming a bit of a, a habit Greg, the clotted cream and jam eh? It's a good habit though. Aye, super boss. Right, Tio, we've got some road walking. About two, three kilometres, Greg? Aye, two kilometres. Aye, no far, then there's a bridge that'll take us across there. And then we're going to skirt around here. Right, yo, folks, this is a Low Bridge End Farm. This is where we finally get off this road and we cross over that bridge. And there's going to be a footpath, hopefully, on the other side there. Right, we've got a grand little view of Blencathra here and I can actually make out the ridge that we came down right about here, you can just see off the summit What's that ridge called again mate? Hullsfell Yeah, Hullsfell, well ropey in, that, in those conditions I think we're going to be going across here and around there So let's roll <laughs> oh no, <laughs> just destroyed the game. My name's Robin, I'm a gate wrecker. Too late in the day for this, by the way. <laughs> Alrighty, that is where we are headed. Walla Crag, and we're going to camp there. Should have about two, three tops kilometres to go, so that's not too bad. And that sets us up nicely for getting back to Keswick in the morning. Oh, I am feeling it now. That's just been on the go for nine hours, 20 minutes since leaving the campsite this morning, and just shy of 25 kilometres and approaching 1400 metres of ascent so if I add that up to yesterday that's about 3100 metres we've done in the two days and it's, it still falls away short of what we would have done in the Bob Graham round but uh, it is what it is now that is a good view. Rightio folks, got the tent pitched, got a lovely grandstand view of the lake, had to make sure I didn't see a lock there, and got a great view down to Keswick as well. Check this out, a rather dramatic pitch, don't want to wander too far there. That will send me right over Walla Crag. But yeah, there you go. It's a bit rainy, but hey ho, still got a view. I think we're only camped about 300 metres. Unfortunately, not room for two tents. So, Greg, I don't know if you can just make out his stealthy MSR. It's roughly about here. Good morning campers, it is currently half five, uh, literally just up, really good sleep, literally no wind, rain on and off during the night, looked out the tent and it's like proper clagged in, can't see anything, so it's going to be a slow pack up, um, get ourselves down to Spoonies at eight o'clock get a breakfast and then get back up the road right let's get started i suppose i reckon packing up in the morning has to be actually the worst thing about wild camping where to start i usually put away my sleeping gear first yeah. 
It's actually really quite warm in here. As always, leave no trace. Right, let's see how Greg's getting on, see if he's packed up as well. Right, yo, we are on our way back down towards Keswick. Seems like a good time to wrap up this video now. If you've watched this far, thank you very much. You are a legend and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.